can I even? So I stop the car and I hear this noise. And this is the boss's air conditioner, guys. <laughs> she stole the fan from um, the kids. Yeah, so that it's actually a little fan that Paige uses for Jovi's cage. When they're going to the park. Um. Yeah, because her cage gets, she has to be in a cage because I she's crazy and I don't want her jumping around. Kayla's a new driver. Um, so this keeps it so that she doesn't overheat. It's only a couple minutes to the park, but we just want to make sure. And now Rachel has yeah. a fan for herself. So I said, you guys aren't going to the park today, right? So let me have the fan. And we're going to need it today. Really it's going to be 87, so almost 90 degrees. Um, yeah. but the good news is I told Rachel after today, I think we're going to be five to 15 degrees below average for the next oh. two weeks. Yeah, that would um, be nice feel bad for you guys we're getting the cold weather you guys in the midwest and up in uh california the whole west coast are getting scorched it's bad out there hot right yeah hot dry no rain fire season starting oh man and and i'm sorry to tell you it doesn't look like it's getting any better in the next two to three weeks for you guys it's actually going to get worse in the northwest i think yeah we're just gonna hope so just yeah so we're here to do some relief Yes, Please. definitely some relief, hopefully. <laughs> so we're here to do our, finish this mulch job we started. We'll be able to finish it today. The beds in the back are super easy. Rachel already started cleaning mm -hmm. some of them out. I did start cleaning some of them out. So, um, and so it's just real quick, you have to edge up. Yeah, I'll edge up real quick, keep going around, and then we'll mulch it and we'll be, go home. Yeah, the hardest part I think is going to be the peppermint and because... The peppermint's like overgrowing chrysanthemums, so I'm gonna have to be a little strategic in that. Yeah, um, but that's no big deal. And then we're gonna go back to the house, uh, drop off oh. the debris, and then we gotta go do another little mulch thing. Yeah, but you also didn't bring your chainsaw to get that tree stump. It's like turning into a tree again. We're gonna have to get that. I gotta fix the chainsaw. You bought that piece, right? Yeah. Yeah, she bought me a piece to fix the chainsaw. Okay, so, we'll, we'll get that. Let's okay. get out because it's hot and that fan ain't on, so. So guys, Rachel decides she didn't want to use the gate no more, so she decides she'd punch a hole through it and put the wheelbarrow that way. Really, man? You know what that's from, right? I guarantee you the bear came, busted through here, right? To get some bird feeders? No, there's still bird feeders up, but I'm, I'm guaranteeing you the bear broke through here. I'm guaranteeing it. Yeah, because how else would that happen? Yeah, the panels were actually, yeah, had to. They were actually pushed out with force. Yeah. They weren't broken. They were pushed out of the slots. Like something said, I'm coming through here. <laughs> and you ain't stopping me, right? Well, this was never, remember, this was never a gate until like late last year, yeah. right? Yeah. So, oh my That's gosh. funny. So. Not funny, but it is like yeah. what you have to deal with in the mountains. Right? Definitely. So, so now she's gonna have to get somebody out here to fix her fence. Yeah, I don't think I can pop them back in. Oh, crazy! No, because remember when I messed, messed up, up the, the one? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna spade around here. I didn't bring my thing to set up the camera, so I'll have to see if I can somewhere. If not, I'll get you guys in after, and then you're just gonna start working on that down there. Yeah, I'll start the working on down that. Okay. We should Man, be done some this. Of the sedge grew back already, though. Look. Yeah, I know. Well, they got rain too. Yeah, so we're gonna um, hit that with a sedge killer. Yeah, we have to. Cause look, that's crazy. Look at it. Mm -hmm. I got it all out. But what you guys might not know this about sedge is you really shouldn't pull it out like that. No. Because what it does is it's leaving the whatever. The roots, the, the rhizomes. Roots, yeah, the rhizomes, whatever they grow off of. Um, in the ground and then they just spread and yeah, put and more out. Yeah, it just out. spreads. So really there's only, now what did somebody say that they used on sedge tube? They just pulled it up and let it just die on the ground, right? But Tilled it. I thought I seen the one guy said he was going to just keep tilling it and yeah, tilling it. Yeah, but I don't think that we can do that here. No. So, so we'll spray a sedge killer. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to get to work. Okay guys, I got this all spaded out. Now I'm just gonna hit it with the edge with the weed eater to make it a little sharper, clean all the uh, debris out of here, take the excess dirt I'm gonna take and throw it up here into this area here. Um, look at this, we gotta take that tree out one day too. 
So let me go ahead and get this done and then go ahead and start mulching it. Okay, so that's all prepped and ready to go. Nice straight edges. Um, this was easy to spade. It was like mostly sand for some reason, which is unusual here. So I'm gonna go get mulch and start dumping it here. That way Rachel can spread it. We'll get you in after. And then I'm gonna go down there where Rachel is working. Okay, I'll get it. I'm gonna go down there where Rachel is and spade that bed out and then she can do that one. Um, and then we'll be almost done. We'll only have that bed, the crepe myrtle, and then over there. So let's get it done. So for everybody that's new to the channel, our preferred mulch of choice is a double ground pine. It um, does not fade. It is not dyed. We don't ever use a dyed mulch. Um, even the hardwood we use isn't dyed. But um, this is our favorite choice. Um, it is a little more expensive. It went up $4 a yard this, halfway through the season. But it breaks down and it's a good soil conditioner and it smells really, really good. Um, we use that on pretty much every mulch job we do. But let me go ahead and get this loaded up and go mulch these beds with Rachel. Now I will tell you, if you're doing steep hills, don't use this. You need more of a um, shredded um, type of hardwood, something that's gonna hold the hill, this will wash. I mean, you can do hills like that over there you're fine. It's just that when you get in the steep bank sides like this, you don't want to be using this stuff because it will wash out, guys. Um, go more with a double ground hardwood. It's a lot more strandier and shred uh, longer than this, and it'll hold hills better. It won't wash out. So that's just a quick tip for mulching. Cover them. And guys, you do want to lay your mulch pretty thick, as you can see. That edge line is pretty deep, about yay deep. So we bring it right to the edge of there. And yes, we do hand spread all our mulch. It's a lot easier to get consistency and an even spread. And you're not really wasting it as much mulch, but if you really want to, you can rake it out. Um, but I like to do it this way. So let me get to all this spread out and go spade the other side for Rachel. Oh look, and then while you're down here hand spreading, you can get any weeds or anything that you might not have gotten because they will come back, guys, these weeds, if you do not get them out by the root, except this sedge will always come back unless you spray. So let me get Rachel more mulch for in here and then we'll be done. So what are you doing here, Rachel? So here I am cutting off all the suckers on the crepe myrtle. Um, we don't we we don't cut the top off at all. We'll thin if there's anything dead or like crossing. 
Um, and I think that this was already pruned once, right? Yes, we already pruned this. It's getting all new flowers now. Yeah. Um, but the suckers don't need yeah. to be here, so... They're just drawing energy from the tree. Right. And you want this all cleared on the bottom anyway. Yeah. So, true. yeah. So, and see crepe myrtles. Like, there's no sense in... You want them to have, like, one main trunk yeah. and then go up into their flowers. And this tree looked horrible before we started doing what we were doing. Yeah. I think the person before, she said, cut it off at the top. Yeah. And it never flowered. Um, it was just so short. And we started pruning it like this. And now yeah. look at it. So, like, if you did want to take off some of this stuff, like, mm. we always leave it till spring. But you could just, like, nip off these that flowered last year. Um, if not, they'll not, self -clean. Yeah. That's not the main focus. The main focus is just getting all of this. Yes. Out. And see where this tree's planted, it will grow up and out. And this thing eventually should go. But this will grow up and out. And the leaders will get really fat and big. And you should never top them. This was planted in a good spot. Mm -hmm. And if eventually it grows out some over here, you just hit the outside branches. So... Um, just to let you know, that's how we do our crepe myrtles. I almost said murders. That's how we do our crepe myrtles. We don't come in here and cut them off. They're not bushes. Yeah. Um, they don't sell these as bushes. Um, I mean, I guess somebody did say that they do have miniature ones. Yeah, miniature ones. But you still shouldn't prune them. Yeah, that's not what this off is. Off the top. So, okay. I'm working on this, as you guys can see. I got it just about done. I'm going to clean it out. The grass that I spaded, Rachel already got all the weeds out. And then I'm going to go ahead and dump the piles of mulch in and then move along to this bed here. We are not pruning the boxwoods because there's a blight running around this part of the state mm -hmm. that will kill these off instantly if it gets on them. Tennessee too. Tennessee so too. So look at... with your extension office. Yeah, so you shouldn't be tightening up your boxwoods. And you do get a lot of damage when you prune them, overly prune them. Like when people want them so tight all the time, they do over time, it does damage the boxwood. Yeah, our extension office said that you should let them overgrow sometimes. Yes. Okay, guys, I got mulch over here for Rachel to do that. She's playing around with the mint. I'm playing around with it. Trying to get as much out as possible. Mint is a nightmare. So I am going to spade this now and get this done. Um, and then I'll start dumping mulch in here and then we'll be just about done. Yeah. What are those? Chrysanthemums. Chrysanthemums. That's what we're trying to save is the chrysanthemums. So... Yeah, they'll grow over that now yeah. since you cut most of the mint out. Okay, let me get this done. Okay, guys, so I got all this laid out. I spread it all because Rachel doesn't like to go underneath them bushes. Um, so I'm going to spade the rest of this out here, spade around here, and then bring mulch back here and spread that. So while Rachel's cleaning up, we'll... Do a quick walkthrough. We threw the extra mulch in that for them. Um, but we're done this one. Guys, we used approximately six yards of mulch. Um, we got to come back and mow this one this week. But um, everything looks good. Nice. A pumpkin plant there. Oh, it's going to get cooler tomorrow. Everything, everything's going to like this. That one needs water. Okay, guys. We're done this one. I think we're going to go mulch. Spot mulch another property. Because we did plantings for it a while back. And then maybe mow. We're not sure. Oh, and here's the front. here even though we the fences where the property ends but we did the whole thing anyway but all done did you show them how the bear drank all the oh no yeah let me show you guys real quick so it was a bear yeah we didn't we couldn't figure out what the bear went after until she realized her she didn't even know the gate was broken this morning yeah um we told her and she said but look guys the hummingbird feeder 
she said she just filled this up this morning and you see how it's bent it's bent down the bear came and ripped it down and sucked all, and the, drank all the juice all the juice out of it yeah that's crazy right so we weren't sure because the see the bird seed is still there but it wanted the juice today and look it's bent this one before many times see it's yeah. bent right there it rips the bird feeders down in the neighborhood and she said that this is actually the second time it's it it's went through the this. other side i'm yeah. just going this way man it's a hole there why not Okay, we're gonna go get cleaned up and go do some more mulch. So we came back here to put down a little bit of mulch in areas we put plantings in, um, get any weeds here. And the company did weed eat, so I really don't have to do that. We didn't think they were weed eating the rocks, but I guess they are now. So we're just gonna go pull out all the weeds here. Um, and it's put, always good to see new growth. And put some mulch, yeah. These right. are the plantings we did, they're both doing good. This oh. one's doing good. Looking good. Looking okay, good. so we're going to go ahead and do this, and then we're done for the day. It's 90 degrees out here, and we don't have much to mulch, so, I mean, mow, so. So there you guys go. We were going to come and do the plants, and I said, you know what? We got a whole yard of mulch, so we did a quick touch-up on all these beds. I mean, that might have taken us, what, 35, 40 minutes? Yeah. So what we'll do is build a client for a yard of mulch, um, what we charge for a yard, and then, and then the normal maintenance. Out. So we are done for the day. Now we're going to go back home and work. Yeah. So we are going to get an estimate to prune these three hollies. Are they all about the same size? Yeah, they're all about the same height. And we can still get your ladder in here somehow? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can reach a lot of it from here, and then okay. we'll manage. They're pretty big, but yeah, that ain't supposed to be there. No. Okay, so we'll give a quote on that. Yeah, look, that ain't, they're not too bad. No. We'll make them a little more pointy. Right, that's what I'm saying, is they look a little top heavy, but you can fix that. Okay. Nice. And he said he's in no rush. So guys, I came back out here to do some garden work. I ended up pulling up all the plastic here. I know I did it and I was going to use the plastic. But rather than cut holes, I told Rachel, you see how the sun comes down and beats on everything? I told her, we're going to put all melons along here, all melons along the backside there. And then every six feet, we're going to put pumpkins in the middle to grow this way. And then I'm going to pull this up too. And we're going to plant all melons in here. And the reason I'm doing that, pulling that up, are oh, the birds. Oh, a cardinal. So the reason I'm pulling that up is because I'm going to use grass clippers. Okay guys, I got all that done for Rachel. And I started it pretty high off because I'm gonna run the watermelons all the way up. I might just put a couple little stakes there to run them up. I wanted the trellis to be as high as I could get it. Um, Cause we're gonna try to run all the way over the top with it. And I am gonna put two more poles here and add another cattle panel here, but I need to use these poles out here to um, try to start this chicken coop so I can start planting these zinnias and stuff in here. These things are so bone dry that the wind 
is blowing them all over. Um, and I want to put them somewhere. They'll turn into big, huge, pretty plants um, if we keep up on them. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this little area up right here. The grass, use the clippings to mulch the bed. And Rachel's going to come out here and plant all this stuff. I think she's going to have to spray mosquito spray on her. Um, and we're supposed to get a lot of rain tonight, so that's a good thing. So let me go ahead and get to work and get this stuff done over here. Guys, this is what we ended up getting done last night. Rachel ended up getting her uh, melons in the ground. They don't look too good, but with the rain we just got, um, they should perk back up and come back to life. We have plenty of growing days left in the season. And she also planted some corn, uh, some, um, I think pumpkins and stuff on this side. Um, so I wanted to show it last night, but it got too dark, so I didn't get to do an ending. So guys, we, oh, and look, all the flowers are coming up in the little pots back there. So guys, we do appreciate you watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and remember guys, be happy or at least try. Have a good night.